Hi, this is Rainbow Harmony here to help you find balance and peace to live a more colorful life. And this is a pick a card reading for a message that you need to hear right now. I was inspired to do this reading for you guys today because there has been such a big change and a big energy shift going on ever since the full wolf moon and the eclipse. And now we have this Aquarius new moon today, actually. And I'm an Aquarius, you guys, and so I'm feeling this hardcore. I find it so funny I actually pulled some moon cards for you guys to choose from today. There's just this brand new energy coming in. I think everyone is just feeling like they want to get started on something or like they want to have that breakthrough right now or that they know exactly what is next or like what they want to do. It's almost like everybody wants to level up or like go to the next level or like achieve something new. Like inspiration is coming in, insight is coming in. And so I feel like this is going to be a message that's going to help you to figure out like where you're at and maybe what energies are coming in for you and what possibilities and what potentials you have ahead of you. So if you would like to participate in this reading, all you have to do is just choose a card that you feel drawn to the most. And there's like a word on the card too that maybe you feel drawn to the word or the picture or the image. I would suggest on this one to pull just one card because it's gonna be a very specific message, okay? And then we'll also freestyle pull you some cards as well for clarity. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys can expect more readings like this for me in the future. And if you're interested, I also do personal readings, so check that out in the information below. So you can choose number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Choose one that resonates the most with you. We're gonna start with number one. If you choose any of the other cards, head to the comments or the description be descriptions below where the timestamps will be posted. So for those of you guys who choose number one, when I look at this card, I immediately think that this is not a time for you to compromise or to be indecisive right now. It's almost like you've received this clarity recently. You've had these thoughts spinning around endlessly in your head. You haven't been able to really slow down for a while here, but now you have this hunch or this intuition, or you might even have a, a moment of clarity. So this is a newfound clarity right now. It enables you to figure out what is needed right now in your life, what do you need to focus on, and then what do you need to let go of, what needs to be released. So it's like you're ready for this new start. This is a message to you to confidently make the decisions that you've been putting off for a long time. The answers to you are now obvious. What needs to happen now in your life is just now so obvious to you. And so this is a very positive card. It's almost a message of celebration telling you like you're here, you're ready to get started because life almost had you in limbo for a while. Life kind of had you in limbo, not really able to make decisions, not really able to move forward, a little confused. And I feel for some people, this was this confusion was happening in relationships. Maybe a relationship that you've been in that you need to release or a connection or like even a crush you have on someone that someone you've been pining over that you're just realizing this is just not going to happen. I need to move forward. It's almost like you're realizing, you know what, this is what I need to do. I need to focus on something else or some other, other area of my life and, and let that go or it's time for me to go off on my own path or try try being single again or or something like that. So I see something here coming up about relationships. So I'd like to draw some relationship cards first. But if you're like, I don't know, I, I'm kind of thinking about my career or other areas of my life or my purpose, hang on a second because I'll pull cards for you too, okay? So only take the parts of this message that resonates. But yes, okay, I'm starting to get a, a like a hunch. Hmm. 
Yeah, okay, so I'm seeing some people out there that were in relationships, and this could have been like an official relationship, like you're dating this person, or you're living with them or something, but the intimacy, the love, the romance between you guys is, has just dwindled. It's almost like your roommates or your cousins or something, and I just feel this energy like, like you know, you're maybe you felt trapped in this relationship because of they're the person who's making the money or bringing in the income, or maybe you're the one who's supporting them. Um, and it's like you want to protect this person or you want to be there for them because you care for them, okay? Um, but it, but there's yeah, it's like you need to work on intimacy. You need to let go of it. It's almost like you're trying to force this connection when it might just not be there anymore. So that's a message to some of you guys that either you need to work on being intimate with your partner or connect more and make more room for fun and romance and, and excitement and, and spontaneity, or you might just need to release this connection because you're worthy of love. You're worthy to be caressed and to be held and, and to be romantic and intimate with someone. And if you just feel like the person you're with is mistreating you or isn't, you're not on that vibe with them, you know, if your heart has been telling you already to let this go, that might be a message. Yes, it says codependency here. Sometimes we stick around in connections or relationships longer than we need to because we're codependent with the person, either emotionally emotionally or maybe it's financially or whatever the case and so it's almost like release codependency and this says forgiving and learning like you can move through this with your partner or with this person like you'll be able to release this and heal so you can experience more love in your present okay so that message to me feels like it was for a specific person or a specific group of people okay so disregard that if that doesn't message i'm going to move on now and pull a couple more cards about this energy we were getting here about um, you know what you need to do now, you, you, you know how to move forward, you're not really stuck in limbo. Yeah, this is just a final message to you, those of you guys. I see breakups, I see some divorces, I see some separations. Um, some of you guys needed to hear this message about trusting your heart with this path, but if it's not for you, don't worry about that. If you're happy with your relationship or the person you're dating and you're, you're just single and mingling, disregard that. Okay, so next part of the message has to do with partnership something about like you've been dreaming that you're going to find the right person to start the business with or maybe to to like hire you or or something like that like finding the right company to work for or or um a place where you can really collaborate and share your talents and gifts it kind of makes me think collaboration could be the answer for some of you guys right now if you have some type of idea, like you, for instance, want to record some music, maybe you can learn a little bit about the recording process yourself, and but maybe you need someone to do it like that's in a better way or something, and or, or like more professional. So maybe this is you researching people who are producers or who are making music, or um, and looking up how much it would cost, or maybe seeing if someone wants to collaborate. Maybe someone who's trying to lay down tracks and still learning, and you want to get into the recording or whatever. Whatever. So it feels something kind of like that. It's either a, a mutual benefit collaboration or you might pay someone or hire someone. And it's, it's a sign that this, this is going to be fulfilled. Um, and also, this might also be the answer for a lot of you guys. The answer for a lot of things that you aren't good at is to hire someone. You know, and I remember back in the day, like I had to, <laughs> back in the day, you guys, tomorrow's my birthday, I'm going to be 30, and so I'm already starting to say stuff like that, I'm feeling old. <laughs> but anyways, um, back in the day, I hired a graphic designer to design like my logo for like this thing I was doing back in the day, <laughs> back in the day. And it came out really, really good, and I paid, you know, good money for it. I saved up for it. I, did, I wasn't very well off at the time, and... I just hustled and I saved up. I think it was like seven or eight hundred dollars or something, but it was worth it for me. It really helped me get that idea out there. And so this might be you hiring someone. And don't forget, there's websites like, um, oh gosh, um, 
Fiverr, yeah, that's it. There's apps or websites like Fiverr where you can hire people to do things for you, whether it's graphic design or designing a channel intro for your YouTube or it's photography stuff or editing or whatever you need, like, you know, Google it. I know that sounds really like random and like such simple advice, but Google it, be willing to pay for it. If you don't have the money, save up for it. Whatever this idea is like, figure out what tools, materials and supplies you need, get it together and make it happen. The right people are going to come in because oftentimes when you wish, when you pray, when you fantasize, when you dream, when you hope, the answer comes through another person or even through a group of people. So beautiful. Let's see what your final message is here for you. Five of Pentacles. You know, it's so weird. I didn't even realize that I had picked up this car, but I think this is a timeline. I randomly picked up my timeline deck and shuffled it when I meant to pick up this deck. So maybe some of you guys here need a timeline. Maybe some of you guys are, are asking the question like when? Um, and so this to me is a message of around five months from now, okay? So whatever you're asking about or inquiring about, it could happen around five months from now for, from a lot of you guys. If this is a very time sensitive issue, this could even be um, five weeks from now. I'm not sure if this is five days, but I, I see five months, maybe five weeks at the soonest, but that's a time rough timeline you're getting. So final message here for you. Yeah, something about your purpose. I think this is telling you that this year or the next five months or whatever, this next cycle in your life, this new beginning, has a lot to do with you discovering your purpose or like redefining your purpose. So I hope that that resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Don't forget to like and leave some love if you're into it. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number two, this is the abundance card, all right? So this is definitely a positive message and an omen of potentially abundance coming in your life for some of you guys, but this actually has a different meaning in this particular deck that I'm drawing from today. This is a message that you have achieved some type of abundance in your life. Something inside of you has reached like a crucial point of ripeness or fullness or like harvest, like, uh, metaphorically, your, your cups are full. And so it's almost like you're, you're being asked to empty out or to give or to almost like, if this is money, maybe even to spend. This could be a message telling you it's okay to make this big investment. I see someone or some of you guys who have, have some type of nest egg or you've been saving for something and you're worried, like, if I buy that or if I pay for that or I like take that huge chunk of money or cash or whatever and invest in that or whatever. Am I gonna be broke again? Am I gonna have to start from the beginning? It could be, it's almost like you've worked so much to save up something and now you're gonna, you know, buy it or invest in it or, and so it's just this big decision you're making with your money. And this is a big message to you like, yes, go ahead, make the investment or go ahead and put the down payment on that thing or, um, it, it it's a message to you that you might things might be tight a while for you financially or you, it might be frustrating to, to feel like you're starting at the bottom again but this investment is going to pay off or this this thing that you're going to purchase like you've earned it or you need it like this is the right time so for some of you guys this might be i, I keep seeing people putting a down payment on a house or an apartment or plane ticket or something like that. Something that has to do with like moving or travel. So it's very exciting because you've reached this point, but it's almost like now what? It's like you climb this mountain and you see this beautiful view and it's awesome. But then it, after like 30 minutes up there, the awesomeness of it kind of wears off and now you're thinking like, okay, what's for lunch? You know, what's next? <laughs> and so that's where you're at in your life right now, metaphorically. You've reached this pinnacle and now it's like, okay, what's next? Now I'm going to do this thing or I'm going to invest in this thing and then I got to start over. But that's exciting. This is telling you spend the money or or share your abundance or let your pour your pour out your cup, empty it again so that you can receive more. It's it's a celebration of something. Uh, it's a big thing checked off your list of things. It's a big manifestation that's come through. But 
now that it's been fulfilled, it's like, okay, back to the drawing board. Time for a new vision, time for a new intention. This card is just reminding you not to forget to celebrate this. Sometimes we just, next thing, next thing, next thing, and we gotta be in the moment, we gotta be in the present and like realize like, wow, I manifested this thing, how amazing, I'm so thankful for this, everything came together. And don't forget that, write it down or celebrate it or share that with someone and remember that that's a sign or a promise that you're gonna be able to, to manifest the next thing on your path, okay? So I also want, this is an abundance card, I think some people here, need a message about money about abundance about manifesting or maybe that's you're you're wanting something and it requires an investment um financially or something so this is a reminder to you that the more that you receive the more you open to receive the more that you allow yourself to receive the more you can give there's nothing wrong with setting goals and wanting to achieve things in life. it's There's nothing wrong if that goal happens to be like, I'd love to have wealth enough to send my children to college and have a nice home where the grandkids can play in the backyard and be able to take trips to nice places and maybe be able to start a nonprofit or you know be able to help or give back in some way there's absolutely nothing wrong with having certain goals you know money is energy back in the day we used to like barter with each other and that was really cool because everyone had their own natural gifts and talents which we all still do and like one person would make like pottery and another person would like hunt and and they, they would trade for that and it, you know everyone would bless each other that way and share gifts with each other and these days like the main one of the main currencies is is uh is is finances is money and so that's how you trade to receive goods or services or things that you need or that's how you can help sometimes and send energy to to support a cause or whatever and so there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with one of your goals being like to earn more coin and and get that cash and grow your flow and and so you can you know accomplish even bigger ideas and bigger dreams and invest in even more things there's you know, change the way and the perspective that you look at money. Change the way and the perspective that you look at people who are wealthy. Yes, there's some people who are very awful with what they do with their finances and some people who are greedy and definitely depleting this planet because of excess and, and you know, and money. And, and there's that Bible verse, it's like money is the root of all evil. And so sometimes we can get really caught up in that train of thought to where we block money from coming to us or we 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 don't allow ourselves to receive more you don't have to suffer you don't have to struggle in order to prove a point about excess or or the earth like allow yourself to receive so you can take good care of yourself and your family and 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 you can be in good health so that you can go out there and help fight those causes that you feel so passionate about you know you don't have to punish yourself financially like Sometimes you got to play the system in order to be able to uh, to make a difference in it. So sometimes people can get a chip on their shoulder about like working for the man or like, oh, you know, that's materialism or consumerism or whatever. And like, yes, that stuff all sucks, but allow do what you got to do. Allow yourself to receive, do good with your money, do allow your money like energetically invest in good things with your money because it's all energy so take your money and bless yourself with it take very good care of yourself with it invest in experiences invest in knowledge invest in yourself invest in your future invest in your gifts invest in your talents and in, invest financially in in causes that you want to help as much as you can even if it's just a dollar or it's your time or your you know spreading awareness like Think about how it's all energy. And so when you're spending your money, say thank you. When you pay that bill that you're just like, ah, it's like so expensive, this bill. Say thank you. I'm so glad that I paid this bill and I got that research, that service. You know, let's say it's a cell phone bill. You know, cell phone bills are always so expensive. It's like a couple hundred dollars or whatever. Then pay the cell phone bill and be like, wow, I was used my phone a lot this month. I'm really thankful that I got the cell phone. Even though cell phone companies are ripping you off and it's all like, it should all be free and all that stuff and Tesla and you know what I mean? All that stuff, you guys just keep saying thank you. Keep looking on the bright side, you know, 
and when you're out shopping for stuff and you're like oh I can't afford that oh that sucks oh that's too expensive instead of saying that say like well that's not a financial priority for me right now if I really wanted that thing I could probably have it I'd have to find a way because I can manifest anything but I have different priorities right now you know so you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's all in your mind. It's all in your head. It's all your beliefs. It's all your subconscious. You change the way that you see something and the way, the part, the role that that specific thing plays in your life will change. So you change the way that you see money and, and, and you think about it and you believe about it and, and it attracts more of it to you. And this is real because I've, I've been working on this for years and it's, it's been, it's been helping. It's been working. So that's just something to chew on for you guys for right now. Okay. I hope that this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number three, let's get your message you need to hear right now. So this is the six of earth. This is the breakthrough card. So this is a very positive card. Maybe you were drawn to this card because you saw the word breakthrough and like you're feeling like you're having a breakthrough or you're so ready for a breakthrough. Maybe it was a picture on this card, this big happy sunflower and this person spreading their arms out, the colors. I definitely see something here about, um, well, I'm just gonna read you what the book says. It literally says, you are invited to surf a wave of success. Give yourself permission to enjoy it. <laughs> I love that. So there's an off opportunity that's here for you now or that's coming in for you in the future. And this definitely has something to do with uh, a work project um, or some type of work strategy. It has a lot to do with success, abundance, material gain, maybe even starting a business or like an enterprise or going to the next level in that area of your life. So there's a need for you to choose wisely right now what you wanna put all your effort into and all your energy into. You could have a couple different projects or a couple different ideas floating around right now and it's time to choose. I talk to people all the time in talents and gifts readings or in Skypes, you know, personal readings I do. And it seems like one of the biggest issues with people who are really talented, really gifted, super creative and artistic, it's not like I don't know what I'm good at. It's almost like I'm good at so many things or I have so many interests. I don't know which one to put my full attention into or my full effort into. So I've struggled with this too. You guys know I do fashion, I do makeup, I love you know clothing, I do tarot. <laughs> I have a lot of different interests. I love surfing. So <clears throat> sometimes it's hard to make space for all the things you love in your life and to ask yourself, which things do I want to be like a hobby? Which things do I want to be my career and see if I can make abundance off of and really bless others with? What do I really want to put out there? And so this is probably what you're thinking about right now is like, what do I want to put out there? What direction do I want to go in career wise or cre creative wise or art? art wise, how to expand this business, how to expand this company, how to expand this opportunity. And so there's a message for you that it's like time to choose. So let's get some guidance for you on that. Okay. How to choose or what to choose. Any guidance for you on like what you should focus on. Well, I see something about new people coming in your life, all different types of people. Some of these people might be positive relationships or even romantic relationships. Some of them might be something that's more of a struggle or someone you realize you don't vibe with. Maybe this is what's been going on lately, but there's a message to you to listen. Listen carefully to each person who comes across your path because even the people that bug you or get on your nerves, they are still mirrors to you. They're still teaching you something. It's almost like there's some magic in that. Like 
pay attention to to what type of energy you like or what lifts you up what type of people inspire you and then the type of people that bring you down it's almost like you are a very malleable right now and you can take on almost any of the qualities of the people surrounding you so this is telling you be open and listen but in that find out what you like Find out what you don't like. Find out what type of vibe is making you happy right now and embrace your weirdness. Embrace your your uniqueness. Surround yourself with people you can be your true self around, with people you can talk about ideas with or people that inspire you, people who are open, people who don't judge you. So a lot of this breakthrough has to do with um, making new friends, attracting new people, putting yourself out there authentically in the world with some type of career path or something creative. Maybe it's like sharing your music or sharing your artwork. So we see that there's there's some magic to this. Like this is going to attract some really beautiful energy into your life. One of my favorite sayings I say on the channel all the time is that when you get into energetic alignment, like when you get into alignment, you hear that word alignment a lot like in the spiritual community. I think of alignment as just being unique, representing yourself in the most authentic way, having strong boundaries when it comes to what you say no to in your life, what you say yes to. And so it's just like living as authentically as you can. And, and living authentically has to do with like the little things like what you eat for breakfast, how you spend your time, where you work, what friends you have, places, the place you live, like the people you interact with, you know, what you wear, how you express yourself, what your career path is. You know, what you say, what you think, what you watch, what you consume. Like, it's it's everything that you do and express. Like, when you really start to just walk in alignment with the, the trueness, the, the uniqueness of you, then you start to attract people, places, situations that just feel more you. You know, I'll tell you guys a personal story from my life. Back in the day, I guess when I was like younger, 18, 19, 20, um, I didn't, you know, I didn't know much about me and I didn't really know much about the world as is common at that time when you're younger. And so I got out of high school. I tried college a little bit. I got a job somewhere um, in, in, you know, helping others, healing others, working with children, stuff like that. Things I was very good at working at like a community center but I worked there for a very long time and I had this group of friends around me and I had this lifestyle and after a while I just woke up and realized like this isn't me this isn't there's just like a lot of negative vibes around me I don't feel like I'm growing I don't feel healthy I feel stuck I feel trapped I I'm scared I'm never going to be able to like get out of here or move to the next place in my life. I had dreams and I wasn't taking any steps towards them. I just thought it was impossible for me. So your power comes and my power came from realizing like I have a choice. Like I I really can do anything. I'm the master creator of my life. I can start making di little different choices every day that feel more me. So I almost put like a microscope to my life for a a magnifying glass to my life to look at every little area like how how my what kind of morning do I have want to have do I want to just sleep in forever and wake up and roll out of bed or do I want to get up early and, and maybe go on a walk like I started thinking like what does my ideal morning look like and I started kind of tweaking with that you know what is my ideal group of friends look like what is my ideal house or play home to live look like what is my ideal job look like what does my ideal lifestyle look like? You know, ideally, like what kind of information and what do I want to bring into my life? Like, what do I want to believe? What do I want to think? And I just started working on that and trying different things and exploring and experimenting. And, and it's a process. I'm still doing that, bringing in information and and new people and um, opportunities and situations that are just more me, like more my truth. And it takes time to, to get your life in that direction. It takes time to even figure that out. I think that's what life is about. We're always growing, we're always changing, we're always evolving. And so th this, this card, Embrace Your Weirdness, that's basically what it means, is just really start to, this is your breakthrough maybe your new perspective, your new power you have. Maybe like almost like kind of how I found in my life 
it's it's you finding who you are and what that means and expressing it in the in the purest way and it's not about perfection you know it's a we're always a work in progress some of it also is just enjoying where you are right now and appreciating some of the choices you've already made and just being open to, to the situation you're currently in because that has a lot to teach you and show you and bless you with as well. But this is the magic of life. The magic of life is that we get to decide what kind of experience we have here. And that's beautiful. So I hope that this resonates with you. It's definitely time to make some choices that are gonna do you well. It's not necessarily about what choice you make. It's just about um, you're gonna be blessed whatever decision you make. It's just about what resonates the most with you. So this is you time. It's like that me time energy of exploring yourself, discovering yourself more. So I hope this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and I'll see you next time. Peace out. So for those of you guys who choose number four, let's get the message that you need to hear right now. So we're getting the moon card and in this specific deck I'm working with, the moon card is talking about polarity emotionally. So this is a message that you could be feeling very emotional at this time. You could be swinging from highs to lows, maybe feeling a little up and down maybe a little bit more tearful lately. And then look, we've got the moon and here's the wolf. So we did just have that wolf moon. That was the last full moon we had a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so let's let, you know, maybe the wolf moon's affecting you. I think it's so funny. I talked about that in my intro and here's this card. So this card is advising you to really pay close attention to your intuition, pay attention to it throughout the day. Relaxation and meditation will really help you right now. You might be feeling a little nervous. There's hectic activities surrounding you that might be smothering your intuitive promptings. So there's even a message to you that like a dream state could be useful um, right now to you. So whether that's lucid dreaming or it's like meditation or it's just extra sleep or something like that, or spending time like in a sweat lodge, or like sweating, or maybe doing vigorous exercise, or going on runs, or anything that will kind of get you into that trance-like state, so that you can just be, and not worry or think about anything, or you can just relax. For me, when I paint, I get into like a really trance-like state, or when I do my makeup, I just all of a sudden, something else takes over me completely and I'm just, you know, making art. <laughs> um, when I write music or when I sing sometimes, that's when I feel very like trance-like. Uh, I also feel like really tranced out for some reason when I swim laps. I just get into this flow and then like I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just there doing it. So whatever that is for you, for some people it's gardening, for other people, you know, it's it's going on a run. Um, and so this is whatever you can do to get in that trance-like state, whether it's just, you know, playing a drum or listening to some drum music or whatever, meditation, yoga. It's time to get into that state of in-between and just allow yourself to be healed. This is telling you like you've been thinking a lot, you've been worried a lot, you've been, there's there could be some type of sadness or grieving process you're going through right now. And this circle here, the moon, it reminds us about cycles. It reminds us about seasons. So I always show clients this. This is something I'm constantly reminding people of and, and reminding myself of it helps me to feel a lot of peace. If we observe nature, we can see patterns, we can see cycles, you know, we're part of nature, we're one with this earth, one with this planet, one with nature, we have natural cycles and seasons too, like the feminine cycle that's in tune with the moon or just emotional cycles, you know, even for men, there's emotional cycles that are tied into the, the planets. Um, it's very, we have the moon cycle. It's just so interesting. So in, and even in nature, we've got winter, spring, summer, fall. We've got those cycles and those seasons we go through. So you as a person, you have your own unique cycles. You have your own unique season. So there's going to be times when you're up here at the top of the cycle 
um, experiencing new beginnings, opportunities, rebirth, uh, breakthroughs, expansion, abundance, harmony, celebration. Okay, but then there's times in life and times in, the, in our natural cycles where we experience death, chaos, uh, illusions breaking through people, places, things, habits, situations that no longer serve us. We need to, you know, releasing them. Trauma. This is a world of contrast, you know. We've got up and down, hot and cold, dark and light, good and evil. And so what's very interesting is that these are two points on the cycle of our life. We've got death and we've got rebirth. But what is happening in between all this time on the cycle of our life in between these two points? Transition. So I see all of life personally, it's most of life is a transition between death and rebirth. So realizing where you're at on the cycle can help you a lot. Are you transitioning right now into a death cycle? Are you feeling a lot of resistance? Do you know in your heart there's things you need to release, things you need to get rid of, room that you need to make? Are you being called to just surrender? Are there things happening around you you just can't control and there's nothing you can do but just go through it? You know, that's 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 the death cycle. So if you're heading towards the death cycle, my best advice for you is just to surrender. Um, don't try to push against it. Let it happen, whatever that is. And remember, you always have a choice. Allow yourself to feel natural emotions. So if you need to cry, you need to dream about it, that you, you are going through it, or you need to express yourself, that's totally fine. Um, you're, it's normal for you to feel however you need to feel, to feel scared or confused about going through this, this type of cycle. Um, Stay strong, and pretty much there's really just nothing you can do other than just do your best. There's no right or wrong way to do a death cycle, but you're going to make it really hard for yourself if you push against it, and you try to stop it, or you try to ignore it, or you ignore your emotions, or you pretend it's not happening, or you put off doing something you know you're really being called to do. You know, you'll if you push against that energy and resist it, the universe will push back at you. The energies will push back until you hit that rock bottom or you have to, to release it or do whatever you're being called to do. So um, once that happens though, it's like a breath of fresh air and you go through like a recovery time and you rest and you, and you, you kind of get ready, you know, you, you get a new vision, you, you, you get connected with your inspiration, like healing comes after that. Healing is, is just revealing the truth that you're already healed, you're already whole, you're already complete. So you're being, it's like after that death cycle, you're healing, you're resting, you're chilling, you're getting inspiration, you're getting your energy back, you're taking care of your needs emotionally, spiritually, you know, mentally, physically. And then you know you're, you're approaching a rebirth cycle if you're getting all of these ideas and downloads and you're starting to see all of these signs and synchronicities. And it, it, it's hard to explain, but it almost feels like something big is about to happen like something's gonna change something big is about to happen and and you just feel it and so if you're starting to feel that like what needs to happen like the best thing you can do to flow with your rebirth cycle is to just set an intention or to take that risk or that leap of faith you're being called to take and then sometimes there's really nothing that you need to do during a rebirth cycle other than just open to receive it realize you're worthy of it be excited um, and celebrate and maybe invite friends to to enjoy whatever it is with you. It's it's like enjoy it, have fun. It's not really hard to to flow into a rebirth cycle. It's fun. It's exciting. The flow takes you. So um, realize where you're at. Where are you? Write it down in the comments below. Where are you in your personal cycle? Do you think you're in a transition heading to a death cycle? Do you think you're in a transition heading to a rebirth? Are you in a rebirth or are you in the death cycle right now? Write it in the comments below and, and realize that something beautiful can come out of each of these cycles. Sometimes the death cycles and the chaos cycles are like super crazy, but it's also that cycle that connects you the most with other people. It connects you the most with your humanity. It connects you the most with the universe. Like I, I pray the hardest. <laughs> 
and I'm like the most spiritual personally when I'm going through a death cycle. It really just helps me commit to my spiritual practice and and whatnot. Um, and it connects me to my humanity. We are we are flawed creatures. We are <laughs> beautiful, perfectly imperfect beings. We're we're here having this crazy experience on this planet. No one said it was gonna be easy, you know. But you can flow through this gracefully. If you take anything away from this message, I know it was kind of deep. We like got really into it. Just take away that it's time to really look into cycles and understand the cycles and the rhythms and the seasons of your life. And wherever you find yourself in your cycle, it's okay. Your inner guidance will lead you through. You will know what you need to do next. Keep listening to your intuition. So I hope this resonates with you. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you next time. Peace out.